what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel so the wait is over finally the razor Ed build is available for the redmi note 8 users this one is the razor Ed rom miui 12.5 based because MIUI 12.5 is officially available for the Redmi Note 8 users as a beta ROM and also based on Android version 11. But this one is a ported ROM which is MIUI Razer 12.521.1.6, a beta version but a ported one. But Razer Edition is one of the great kind of custom rooms for the Redmi Note 8 users. They already know about that. This is a new update. Let me show you. I'm the maintainer of this build and let me show you the all specs. It's based on Android version 10. It's not Android version 11 and also Android version 11 is not recommended yet. If you want to use this Razer Ed build, I'm going to show you the review and installation of this build right now in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started quickly. Guys, like the previous build, it has all those razor goodies like the wallpapers and the UI and everything you already know about that. I'm gonna share with you some a little bit of extra things which you get in this latest new build. First of all, it's based on MIUI 12.5. So all the MIUI 12.5 features are available as you can see wallpaper and personalization extra tab and all other things. And let me tell you one thing, always on display and yes, it is available in this latest razor build, always on display is available and working pretty fine let me show you that how it's working and how it's going on we can simply select many styles and we have the theme store available for this for example if i want to choose this one because this one is one of those styles which i love to use so we have just chosen this one and let's see how it's working and how it is looking on our device as you can see it's looking really really impressive you can use it on your redmi note 8 device of course, it's not recommended, but yes, you have the option to use and that's why I've included this one. Thanks to all those who just helped me in adding this always on display in this device. This LCD panel, so this is not recommended, but yes, if you want to show off like that's why I did this. I, sh I shared this option with you. Other things same here as you can see sleep and L's and L's, all these kind of things are ex absolutely same. Wallpapers and personalization which includes these kind of things which you get in MIUI 12.5 we already know. So let me show you some wallpapers which you get here and we have this gamer dynamic wallpapers and which is of course just great. I already shown you this dynamic wallpaper previously if you still want to check it out for example just apply from here set both and let me show you by going into home screen this is how it looks like. This is the latest dynamic wallpapers looks really impressive here. Moving on to the other things also at the home screen you can see some differences here for example the icons the default icons this is not any kind of a theme this is a default icons pack or you can say default icons default UI also including that new widget option available here a new kind of status bar icons a lot of things are available in this latest build of ROG or you can say sorry Razer. We also have these kind of options same kind of UI with the volume panel and if you talk about the power menu if you enable the expanded power menu you will see these kind of options there and the same kind of power menu which you get in Xiaomi E room but if you disable that expanded power menu you will see that new kind of power menu option is also available there. Let me show you some little bit of more things like sound and vibration same kind of options are available here. The same UI which you get in MIUI 12.5 so all those things are available vibrate for calls, vibrate on tap and etc. And we also have the boot audio option available this time no boot animation change and the latest MIUI 12.5 boot animation is good also the simple MIUI logo. So didn't change much here home screen also has no kind of extra things arrange items in recent is finally available. The previous build did not include this option some of the users were looking for it but now it's available and if you're a Razer fan you might love this room definitely for sure. We also have the icons related customizations options available and as I previously told you there's a custom icon pack so this icon pack honestly seems to be really nice here you can simply use it directly from here. Password and security also include the same kind of features a screen lock fingerprint face lock and everything is working fine You got any kind of major issues still now Let me tell you which bug I got and which is a fixable thing by the way You can use the extra thing for that additional things if it talk about the default cam the default camera is the MIUI 11 camera for you 
sorry for this i was not able to fix the mio 12 camera unfortunately but it's pretty fine here video mode etc are working fine and as you can see it's recorded successfully talking about the photo mode 48 megapixel portrait everything else is fine direct if you talk about the front rear everything else is perfectly fine let me tell you which bug i'm talking about if you go here click here and if you click on settings it will force stop it will not work and this was the bug reported by many users but unfortunately me 12 camera was not able to work in this build so that's why i added this one because almost everything seems to be working only the settings bug which can be easily fixed with the help of gcam you can use the gcam instead of this one and then it seems to be really nice let me show you some other wallpapers also it also includes some cool kind of interesting wallpapers if you go for the wallpaper options available here and let me show you some wallpapers like the gamer static wallpaper these are some gamer static wallpapers available for example if you want to apply this one just click on apply click on set lock screen home screen or both like this and now it's done this wallpaper seems to be really nice and impressive uh, you can say a room for the gamers and this is really interesting here let me show you a little bit of more things if you go for the themes options the direct chinese theme store option is available here we have many kind of customizations themes wallpapers dynamic ringtones and also have the fonts related customization now we have the extra fonts options available if you are a redmi note 8 user then this can be a very good kind of thing for you blogger sense we have the arista pro any kind of font whichever you want to choose you can simply click here click on apply it will be applied directly and you don't need to reboot your device to apply all these fonts so everything is up to you and as you can see the fonts are applied successfully let me show you by going into our settings and as you can see the fonts are changed and these are looking great one of the main highlights of using this build is as i previously told you the always on display you can go and enable this always on display right now on a device so let's move on to the installation all the things i have already shown you if you still want to install it how you can install that let me show you by going into my file manager i already have downloaded this one so if you want to download the link for this one is in the description and also it includes the google app so you don't need to worry about anything this is the file which you need which is only around 2.1 gb or you can say 2.2 gb i have removed the cursed partition so that's why the size is little bit of reduced here me why razer at b21.1.6 kingo 10 dot zip so just boot into custom recovery once and then let me get back to to you very soon so it's booted to custom recovery in my case i'm using orange fox custom recovery as always and if you want to use any other custom recovery it's up to you i will recommend you to use the orange fox custom recovery and as you can see we have this file menu it is red v21.1.6 kingo dot zip so just go here dalvi catch system vendor data all these partitions you need to select and swipe to wipe okay it will take some a little bit of extra time so just wait for the installation to happen the second thing what we need to do is just go here go back and here you will see this file called menu eraser at v21.1.6 kingo.zip magisk is not included so you need to install magisk on your own if you want to if you don't want to install magisk it's up to you just click on swipe to install it will take some little bit of time to install and as you can see it will install the firmware update and here we have these options available MIUI Razer Edition ROM, MIUI 12.5, V21.1.6, Android 10 for Redmi Note 8 by TechCurrent. You can subscribe me on YouTube and this was all from today's video. It will take some time to install after that. If needed, you can format data and reboot or if you if you are decrypted, you can use the DFE which is a Disable Force Encrypt file. It's all up to you and after that reboot your device and it's done. Very easy to install and this is all from today's video. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe me. Thanks for watching and goodbye.